Hi everyone, uh, Craig here. Um, this, uh, this video is going to be an example of a dialog behavior tree. And the dialog is going to be modeled on a suggestion here by Amos. Entrepreneur could spawn with little money that players could get by betting on who gets the highest random number, or killing him I suppose would work too. So this this dialogue, um, you can see the entrepreneur is actually carrying some money there, so he's got some money in his inventory. If I stand somewhere in front of him, he'll say he'll just talk to me, give me an op a, uh, a one-liner or an open line. Hey, go, want to make some money? So if I talk to him down here, he says. Hey Gov, you want to make some money? And I can reply, no thanks. In which case he says, no problem, have a nice day. And the conversation ends. Um, or if I say, uh, sure, what do I need to do? And he says, put down 100 gold pieces, throw this 50 sided dice, and if you throw a higher than a 40, you win 400 GP. Otherwise, I keep the 100. GP. So from there you can reply either OK I'm game, in which case you'll give him the 100 GP and throw the dice, or you can say no thanks. If you say no thanks again he says no problem, have a nice day and, and ends the dialogue. If I um, just press back, it just also ends the dialogue. say okay what do I need to do now if I push back here it just goes back to the, the first dialogue and it shows in black that I've already been into this one so I go in here again so here I can say okay I'm game or no thanks so I'll say uh, okay I'm game and there's a notification up there you hand the 100 GP to the entrepreneur and roll the dice so it rolls the dice and it says, sorry, you lost that round. If you look on my hotbar, I've got 400 gold pieces. There was 500 just before. So I'll go back to here. If I now run, do the bet again, you'll see if it's now down to 300 gold pieces. Press back, run it again. 100, uh, down to 200 gold pieces. I'm on losing streak here. So I lost that round, and now I have no gold pieces left. So the dialogue actually understands that, and says I don't have any gold pieces, and ends the conversation. Now if I talk to him, now that I've got no gold pieces, and say, oh sure, what do I, want to, what do I need to do? And says, it realises I have no money, and says I don't have any gold, enough gold pieces, and then ends the conversation. Uh, also, if the if the if the entrepreneur has no money left, if he loses it all, then you won't be able to talk to him. You won't be able to go through this this dialogue because he won't be able to pay you the money anyway. So it's all pointless. Um, I'll just grab some more money so we can see what happens when I win. Lost. 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 Streak. Grab some more money. Lost. 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 says congrats you won that round and he gives me 400 gold pieces and it actually takes the 400 gold pieces out of his inventory and let's you play again so 
I'll show you the dialogue tree for that one. It's actually reasonably complex, even though it's only a small, not a big conversation. It's, it's relatively complex just to handle all the different cases. So the, the conversation starts here, the dialogue starts here. Now the very first thing it does is it checks the imagery of the entrepreneur and if the entrepreneur actually has, doesn't have enough money to play the game, he, he must have at least 300 gold pieces because to play the game you will give him 100 gold pieces and if, he, if you win he'll give you 400 so he needs at least 300 clear to, to play, the, play one round. So the hazard imagery node checks here if he has greater than or equal to 300 gold pieces. If he doesn't, then the dialogue, dialogue simply says have a nice day and, he, and, he, and you can't actually, you can't actually uh, interact or talk to him about the game. If he does have the 300 gold pieces, it, then obviously it just says, um, hey, you want to make some money? And then it offers you these two options, either no thanks or uh, sure, what do I need to do? So if you choose the no thanks one, he just says, no problem, have a nice day. And the exit node here, excuse me, the exit node tells the system to stop the dialogue. So, he, so the, the dialogue's closed down. Otherwise, if you say, yeah, sure, what do I need to do? It then says, he says, put down, put down the 100 gold pieces, throw the 50-sided dice, etc., etc. So if you actually choose that item, if you choose that selection, uh, he'll say that dialogue there, then it will move on and it will check your inventory. And if you don't have, it's, if you have 100 gold pieces or more, it will let you play the game here. If you don't, it will come down here and say, I don't have enough gold pieces. He'll say, no problem, have a nice day, and exit the conversation. If you do have the 100 gold pieces, it gives you these two options, OK, I'm game, or no thanks. And if you select no thanks, again, he says, no problem, have a nice day, and ends the conversation. You don't have to end the conversations. You don't have to have these exits. It will just give you a back. If you don't have those, it will just give you a back option, so you can just go back to the the previous tier of of dialogue. Now, if you select, say, I'm, if you want to play the game, you say, okay, I'm game. It runs a script here where it takes a hundred gold pieces out of your inventory, and does that notify where it says that you give them the hundred gold pieces and you roll the dice? And this next script puts the one hundred gold pieces into his inventory. The reason we need two here is because the, you'll see the target is different. The t on the first one, the target is, is, the, is the actual player, the NPC's target, which is the player. So the script is acting on that, on, on you, basically, on the player. So it's taking 100 gold pieces from your inventory. And the second script, the target is self, which is the NPC. So it's adding the gold pieces to the NPC's inventory. So that's, the, that's re the reason why there's two different script nodes here, because we have two different targets for each of those commands. So it runs those scripts and it moves here and it says it does it as random. Um, and it's nine chances out of 50. So if, if uh, it throws the 50 sided dice and if the, if, the, if the side it rolls onto is nine or less, uh, it goes here. And it adds, so you win basically, it adds 400 gold pieces to you, to your inventory because you're the target. It takes 400 gold pieces from the NPC's inventory. The NPC says congrats, you won that round. And you say what? Woot. And, gives, and then it gives you the option to go back, in which case you'll go back to here, where you can say, OK, I'm game. No thanks. If there's random goes above nine, it just says you lost. Sorry, lost that round. Nothing else happens because you've already handed the hundred gold pieces to the entrepreneur, so there's nothing else to do. And then it just goes back again. So the way the way it goes, the way the backwards thing works is, it goes back to the to the same colour. So um, 
So here, if you select OK, I'm game, it goes through here. If you lose and it goes to here, when you, when you press back, it will go back to this yellow, which will show this conversation and give you these two options again. Or if you win, it will show that message, and then when you go back, again goes back to yellow, and gives you those two options. So the yellow, the yellow nodes are the ones are the, is a dialogue that the NPC says, and the solvent nodes is, is a dialogue that uh, the option, the dialogue options that you have. So that's pretty much it. Simple, but a little, there's a few little complexities in there at the same time, but um, that gives an idea of a, a dialogue, um, MPC dialogue with some logic in there. So it has an, there's a has inventory check, there's a couple of has inventory checks, there's an is random, there's a few scripts going on here. So it has a little bit of everything in there. What I will do is I'll just ex give an example of what happens if the NPC actually has no money at all. Also, you'll see when I kill kill this entrepreneur, he'll drop his money. So he actually had four and a half k on him, which most of that he won from me anyway. So he has no money now. And you'll see that there's no dialogue option. He just says, "Have a nice day," and you can't talk to him. There's there's nothing to there's no dialogue. So um, that's what happened. That's what that that's what that first hazardry thing does there. So if he doesn't have the money, it just comes down here. And that's it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.